What's up, everybody? It's the J-A-Y man here, hanging out with the lovely Carissa. About to get down on another beer review. About to do something I've never had. Something you've had, something you've never had. I've, I've tasted just a touch, just a little bit. They were doing tastings at Central Market. It's called Super Buck. Super Buck. Coming in the mini bottles, correct? Yeah, that was the only size they had. So I went to Total Wine. Let me make some more room for you here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, okay. <laughs> All right, so I did some homework. This is a Portuguese lager type beer from the Super Buck Brewery. Established in 1927. So it's old. <laughs> Superbach is the best selling Portuguese beer in the world and is the prefer preferred beer in Portugal. It was launched as a winter beer, I don't know what that is, in 1927. And even before launch, it won the gold medal at the industrial exhibition at the Palat. I'm guessing how you say it, Palacio Cristal in Madrid. Um, Your guess is good as mine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so the original ads from 1967 appeared with the slogan, the beer that exceeds your requirements. S snappy, right? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Such a weird slogan, at least in English. Okay, in 2012, they changed the marketing slogan to life is super. It's probably better. In 2017, the 90th an anniversary of Superbach, they changed the slogan to 90 years of making friends. And that won the gold trophy for the Communications Effectiveness Awards. <laughs> then in response to the pandemic in 2021, they changed the slogan again to friends, friends, beers apart. Maybe that makes more sense in Portuguese. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I'm not really sure what it means. <laughs> it, it's, all, it's completely new, new to me. Yeah. Superbike not only has a radio station, which I listen to for a touch, where they play popular music from all over the world, but they also sponsor the biggest music festival in Portugal called Superbox Super Rock. They also have been sponsoring the countdown to the new year on Portuguese TV. So they're a big deal, big deal in Portugal. They have won a ton of awards and in international competitions. Uh, too many to list. I, I was looking up on Wikipedia. There's a, a bunch, yeah. a bunch. The website, uh, the Superbach website just says Superbach is the only beer that's won 37 consecutive gold medals. Um, like I said, Wikipedia lists a bunch more. Uh, the ABV is 5.2%. <laughs> okay. Which 5.2 so, is pretty typical. Yeah. You know, for like a full flavored beer. Yeah. But that's pretty crazy. They won that many gold medals. I know. Isn't it? I know. I hope it's so, good. <laughs> so, so it's got to be good. And I noticed that... Uh, when she brought these over, they got like these little fancy kind of pull tops. Yeah, so. I, I read something about that, but I just didn't write it down. Sorry. Oh, look at that. Pops right off there. Look at that. Tell your friends. <laughs> Super Bach, going to pour them up. You ready for them to be poured up? I'm ready. I'm really excited to see what you think about it because... Now they fit perfectly in these glasses. <laughs> a lot of head. Let it dissipate. Let's rock the other one. Super Bach. Pretty easy yeah. to pull off too. Not too much effort. Yeah. They're carbonated for sure. Carbonation is good though. I like the carbonation. <laughs> the look, 
they're definitely clear. It's kind of a straw yellow appearance. Get the smell. Smells like a beer head. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> it's a, Smells like beer. It is. It, it, and that's lager, right? That's not ale. Correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's called a uh, super bock, but it's not a bock. It's it's a because I know that Pilsner. because I haven't been a big fan of box. Yeah. Because it usually falls like into the ale category, but these are lager. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, they're fizzy. You smell the corn. Smell the malt. I feel like I mostly smell little bit, malt. A little bit of hop. Not heavy on the hop, but hit them with the cheers to get the taste. Cheers. Cheers. I like it. What do you think? I'm trying to get the It's it's much lighter, I feel like, than than full, like the full lighter beers. Effect. It tastes premium. It's supposed it's, to be. <laughs> it's, it doesn't taste light. It doesn't taste watered down. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting a whole lot of hops, but I'm tasting the hell out of barley malt. It's really and, smooth, and I don't taste much bitter at all. And it's ricey. Ricey. Hmm. I like it. I think it's maybe it, my it, favorite it, beer it, I've had. It, it, it almost comes in like it's going to taste bitter, but then the back end smooth. Yeah. Like when you first get the initial taste, you're like... Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Which, which can sometimes be the opposite because a lot of beers are smooth in, bitter on the after. Mm -hmm. But I'm not getting no bitter on the back end. Mm. It's got a little bit of skunk to it. Does it? C can you taste the skunky? Just in, when I, and, and not just to, the, on the front, and and, not, um, it's really, really smooth. And, and not to say that skunky is bad, because sometimes it's just what you get with beer. Sometimes you get a little skunk. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of skunk. I guess the aftertaste. But see, I'm wondering if that's it's weird. It's like it's it, it's something that's different to me. I, it, I mean, mm. not different. All the taste I'm tasting, I've tasted before. But but, but it's weird. It's like. It doesn't have the bitterness like, say, like an ale would have. Mm -hmm. The smoothness is there, mm -hmm. but then at the same time, the smoothness is kind of shadowed by a little bit of skunk and a little bit of... I don't know what I'm getting there. I really don't. It, it's different. It's different. It, it's a different beer. It's a different taste of beer than I've had. Like usually when I have an ale, I'm like, yeah, it's ale. Have a lager. Oh, yeah, it's lager. This right here is kind of like, it's a little bit of a mystery to me. Mm. I don't know. Cause, I like Because like I said, I'm tasting. There's an aftertaste I don't it's, like, it's, but it's, it, it doesn't taste like that when you drink it, actually. It's the aftertaste. Yeah, it, it's not bad at all. I mean, I've had bad beer. I've had good beer. It's not bad. 
I've had supposedly good beer. <laughs> uh, just but I'm, but, but I'm trying to see where I'm getting that uh, that taste because that taste is familiar. It's mm. familiar to me, but I, I just can't place it. It's like I've had something that's had the same characteristics. Well, a six pack of these, this size is about $10. Okay. So it's not, I mean, you it, think it, import, it's not really that. Because, because it don't expensive. taste like American Ag Junk Locker. Like when you're thinking about any light beers or even like Budweiser, or you're thinking about Miller High Life, Miller Genuine Draft. It don't have that taste. It has the taste of something in between. Something I just can't grasp. Hmm. I like moment. the carbonation. It's very carbonated. Which it, it, it almost kind of reminds me of a Mexican lager. Hmm. <laughs> Which makes me wonder, w w would lime do it justice? I bet lime would be really good in it. Yeah. It's too bad we don't have any lime. I don't know. I think it's not bad. But to me, it's not great. Hmm. It's got a little dryness. Not your favorite. Not my favorite at all. Uh, it's got a little dryness. It's dry. Hmm. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like how Bud Dry. They discontinued that a long time ago, but but Bud Dry kind of had that dry kind of taste. Hmm. So it's a little bit of a. It, it, it it's a unicorn. <laughs> it's a Portuguese know. Know. import. <laughs> and I mean, like when I was listening to their radio station, they were playing something that I didn't recognize. It was European, maybe Portuguese. I don't know. I didn't recognize the language. <laughs> and, 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 and it definitely don't taste like Bach style. No. Because... Not at all. I, I've had box style and uh, I really don't care for that. It's good, but it's not great. It's not bad. But I don't know. What are you thinking? What are you thinking five star? I like it. I think I would, I would drink. Now, I feel like my five star ratings should be differentiated between beer and like the sweet stuff we've been drinking. Right. So I guess on the scale of beer, uh, maybe a four. Really? That high? Maybe. It's just, the, I mean, I would drink this, you know? I would, I would drink this. I mean, I'm not trying to put it down, but I'm kind of floating somewhere around a two. Wow. Two out of five. Wow. <laughs> what? Is that bad? I am so disappointed. I was really hopeful that we'd <laughs> like this beer. <laughs> that is not bad. Your your taste buds are your taste buds. It's the whole point of these. I, I'm around a two. Hmm. And and I'm trying to say 2.1. No, I can't even give it a nickel more on wow. two. I'm saying two out of five for me. Is it the I, aftertaste? I don't know what in? it is. I don't like, I mean, I know you got to be tasting the skunk in it. I taste an, there's an aftertaste, but like and when I, I just drink it, I'm like, hey, this is cool. You know, it's very smooth. I don't, I don't, I like that there's no bitter in the back end. The skunky is what's getting me. Mm. It, to, to me, it tastes like beer. <sighs> that's been in clear bottles and they've been sitting in the sun too long. Hmm. I'm getting that taste. Well, it is important. <laughs> so maybe something happened. But, but two ain't bad. Two's not bad. It's not? I mean, I'm giving beers negative reviews. 
I mean, two's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, that. that's that's okay. Hey, two out of five, that's almost halfway there. I think that I would really like it, like you said, with lime. I think I would. Yeah, it might. I, I think it, I agree that it's it, it tastes a lot like a Mexican. It, it might need a little fixer upper. Yeah. I, I I just can't see myself giving it more than two. It's the aftertaste that isn't so great for me. Like my mouth's dry right now. Like I feel like I need to go dunk my head in the horse trough. You know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy, I would love to see that. <laughs> but I guess we're. Are you done? I'm done. I'm done. We're. We drank them. We talked about it. Super Bach coming out of where? Portugal. Is that where it's coming from? Yeah, oh, I was I was saying that the radio station, they were playing something European, Portuguese, or Spanish, or something. And then they were playing R.E.M. right after that. So they were really mixing it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's where I'm going. Two, two out of five, not a nickel more. You're rocking. I think of four. I don't like the aftertaste. Are you really going for And the more I sit with it, the more I don't like the aftertaste. I will go with a 3.5. 3.5. There you go. I like it. just drinking it is a 4, but that aftertaste is... That might be the dryness that you're talking about. Yeah, my mouth feels so dry, I feel like I just got to go out to the water hose. Turn it on full blast. That's where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> We need some water. <laughs> All right. As always, subscribe. If you're watching it for the first time, hit the like. Leave a comment. Say something. It don't matter if it's negative. You don't have to be positive. Say something shitty. We like I'm all good for that. I like, I like positive. <laughs> hey, I like anything. It don't matter. But as always... Cheers from the J.A.Y. man and the lovely Carissa. We're going to hit you with a peace out.